Good morning, British Columbia. No snow still, I see. Very nice. Very nice. Good morning. We're still in the hotel, so if you watched yesterday's video, uh, the truck is in the shop getting a whole bunch of stuff done. Uh, the bill's going to be over $5,000. But we still love trucking. So, uh... I'm just going to take the weasel out here. I just woke up. Uh, it is Sunday morning when I'm filming this. And I'm going to be heading to pick up the truck tomorrow. They needed a little bit of Monday yet to finish fixing up the truck. Uh, there was an engine light. If you want to watch, if you want to know everything that's going on, watch yesterday's video. I pretty much explained it all in detail then. Today, we're just going to relax. And uh, I feel better today that they fixed the problem, that they know what the problem is. They just needed a little more time to finish it. And then I gotta go and talk to the shop who I was uh, who I was at last in Steinbeck, who told me and who I have a invoice for, who told me that they fixed the problem. I have to go and show them this problem here now in this invoice and saying, hey, this is what you told me you fixed two weeks ago. Here's the proof that it wasn't fixed. So that'll be interesting. We'll worry about that later though. Today's gonna be a good relaxing day though. It's Sunday. Let's walk a weasel. Maybe they'll be here soon to change my sheets and stuff. That's one of the best things about being in a motel. I don't gotta clean nothing. I do gotta go get some cash out somewhere though uh, for the tip. I think you're supposed to tip the cleaning people, right? Is that a thing? Let me know if that's a thing where you are. Do you, when you're in a hotel, do you tip the cleaning staff? I don't stay in hotels that often, so I don't know. And I don't wanna be rude. But I don't have any cash on me. Nothing. Maybe they'll have to forgive me. You ready, bud? Do we got the room key? Do we got the room key? One second. One second. Where's the room key? There's... One second here. I'm trying to figure out where I put the room key. There it is. Okay. I don't want to leave the room without that. I do that almost every time I get a motel. Clear the way, bud. Let's go. Still amazes me, and I'm gonna mention it every day, okay? So get ready. You know what I'm gonna say, right? It's February when I'm filming this still. I know you're probably watching this in the beginning of March. It's still end of February. Look at all that green. I promise you, we're in Canada. I haven't shown you that palm tree yet, right? We're gonna show you that when we go pick up the truck, because I gotta go walk to the shop from here to get the truck. So that'll be Monday. Uh, tomorrow's video. There is a palm tree here and fake grass. Diesel, are you done? You're staring at all the greenery, man. Where's all the snow at? You and me both, buddy. We're both confused. Okay, well, if you're just gonna stand there, let's go back inside. Then we can stand inside at least. How about that? So, if you didn't watch yesterday, once again, we're at the Sandman Hotel in Langley, British Columbia. It's actually a very nice motel. It's actually a little more fancy than I would usually stay in, but uh, it was either this or like a dive. So I didn't want to, you know, get bed bugs or lice or something. So this was the pick. And it was advertised at $112 a night uh, after taxes, and there's a $10 pet fee per day. And after everything was said and done, it was about $145 per night. But that's okay. We'll pay the pet fee. You also got to remember, for you Americans watching, I know there's a lot of you, I'm speaking in Canadian dollars. So $145 Canadian is probably 120 American. So you take all the prices I give you while I'm here in Canada and like knock off like 10%. It's just like, you know, the Canadian tax. Let's go inside. I think you're done. Come on. Come on. If you want to just stand around and do nothing, I'd like to stand around and do nothing inside. Got some farming to do, man. Still playing Farming Simulator 2019. I've logged over a thousand hours on that game. I haven't been playing it that long. Sometimes I have it just running in the background. Like, I like that game. Can I trust you? I'm gonna go and have some breakfast. But you have to stay here, okay? I'm sorry. 
but can I trust you to stay quiet and don't bark? You gonna be a good boy? That doesn't look too promising, but I'm trusting you, okay? I trust you, buddy. Don't disappoint me. I don't want to be called back to the room because my dog is barking. I will do my absolute best. It will be my honor to guard this room in silence. Okay. I'm going to be in the same building. I'm just going to Denny's. All right. Trusting you. So the front door is that way. We're going this way. Is the door closed? That way. Okay. I'm hungry. I'm gonna have a real breakfast today. Here, I'm guessing it. Here's Denny's. I'm back. Yes, you really sure? Did you eat? You don't smell like food. You didn't, did you? Yeah, I'm gonna eat here with you, Diesel, okay? Turns out they do room service. You just, you just, you're f good boy. Did you hear that? Good boy. That's my boy. Anyway, yeah, so uh, it's attached to the hotel and it's all the same. So they're just gonna bring it here to my room so I can eat it in here. Perfect, I'm not really in a people mood right now anyway. I don't want to be out there. It was full. Like, Denny's was packed. I got the last table, so I think I did someone else a favor. They can go and take my table. I can just eat it in here. The cleaning staff should be here soon, right, Diesel? And we're not going to freak them out? We're going to let them do their job? No promises, man. I cannot promise this. All right. Let's see what the good old TV has to tell us today. I have the remote all to myself. Diesel, isn't this amazing? Oh. What's, what's this? Oh, I gotta go find my channel again? It doesn't have a guide, so I have to find... I was watching History Channel yesterday. I think that's like in the 20s or something. Let's just type in 20. Oh, Spongebob. HGTV. It's around here somewhere. What's on? What's on TV? Show the good people. Cartoon. Ah, here it is. History. Tim Hortons. Looking to simplify your skincare routine? With no, actually, I'm not. Results? Try Olay Total Effects for a 7-in-1 solution. Its unique formula really? is packed with vitamin B3, E, and C. In fact, a single pump contains more vitamin B3 than 50 cups of kale. Olay Total Effects gently... 50 cups of kale? Proven to improve I'm one of these, uh, what they call millennials. We don't have TV at home. We have, like, Netflix and YouTube. I, I I literally never watch TV. I haven't ha I haven't seen a TV commercial in probably months and months and months until I got here. Now all these TV commercials, I, I'm realizing they still do those. We're just having our room cleaned right now. So I figure we'd get ourselves out of there, give them some space. Otherwise Diesel just wants to play the whole time. So if you ever wonder what Langley, British Columbia, Canada looks like in late February, Think of London, England. Very wet. Very wet. But it doesn't snow here. Like, look at this green grass, right? Have I mentioned that today yet? I think I have. But it's also a very expensive area to live in. Obviously, as many people live here as possible, and uh, every square inch of land is claimed and being used for something so to get a house here you pretty much got to be a millionaire i can't afford a house here but in manitoba things are different nobody wants to live there it's way too cold i'll live there you want to sit here for a bit diesel i want to sit but yeah manitoba is so cold it gets down to what minus 50 every winter right now at home it's winter time minus 40 minus 50. What do you smell? Do not eat anything on the ground, Diesel. That is not food. Okay, those aren't snacks. Garbage. Come over here. Come over here where I can watch you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, stop. Crazy guy. Anything's anything's a snack. When we're in the big city, you gotta be careful because people leave all kinds of garbage around and it'll make you sick, okay? 
This isn't like back home. There's no kidding, man. There's people everywhere. And there's no snow. Have you told them yet, man? There's no snow here. I know. So today is just a waiting game. And I think I already told you probably more than once. Excuse me if I'm repeating myself today. I keep forgetting what I've told you already. But they're not going to start working on my truck tomorrow until my tech gets in at 11.30 in the morning. And then it's another couple of hours yet. So my truck won't be ready until tomorrow, like end of business day probably. So we got some time. We can sleep in tomorrow yet. I have my hotel booked till the following day. And the shop promised to get me my truck tomorrow. He said it will, he will make it his life's mission. I like the mechanic I'm dealing with here, the tech. I think they call themselves techs, right? Because they're specifically trained to fix Volvo trucks. They're friendly guys, but I do have to go back to the shop in Steinbeck. I don't know if they watch my videos or not, but you guys can expect a visit from me. Because I have an invoice from you guys saying that you fixed a lot of this stuff. And I have another invoice from these guys now saying that you didn't. So you're going to be getting a visit from me. And uh, I'm going to want one thing fixed at least. When my truck went into the shop in Steinbeck, they had to secure one of my beacons. One of my beacons was a little bit loose, right? So they secured it for me. But now, ever since they did that, my beacons don't even turn on. Those yellow flashing lights or orange flashing lights, they don't even turn on. So my beacons don't even work. I want them to fix that for free. And I want them to look over all of this work that their shop did. That their shop did. And I would like it if they would refund me a little bit of the stuff. Because they said that they did it and they didn't. I don't know what kind of... Uh, they probably don't offer any warranties on their work, right? But... I don't like being taken for a ride. I don't like being lied to, and I don't like being taken advantage of. You do that to me once, you lose my business forever. That's, that's how it works. Sometimes I give second chances if they make it right, but we'll see what they say when I go to show them what they did or what they didn't do. And we'll see how they react. You know, if they're mean about it and rude about it, well, they're never going to see me again. But if they make it right and they fix it, yes, then... Then they'll keep my business. I mean, I have proof, right? I have an invoice saying it got fixed two weeks ago, and I have another invoice now from the manufacturer who had to fix it again, saying, no, they didn't even touch it. I, I can't get better proof than that. Like, this could have been bad. One of the reasons the engine light was on, and one of the problems with the engine were the batteries, which they had tested, and they gave their green light on. Volvo here tested it and said, no, these batteries should not have been used whatsoever. They're junk, they're garbage. And I kind of knew that already. They also didn't fix or didn't catch my turbo actuator, which was causing my engine light to pop on and off every now and then, right? And if I wouldn't have caught a turbo actuator here, that could have resulted in some very, very expensive repairs down the road. My turbo could have blown. And when your turbo blows, it could also ruin your engine, and then my whole engine's gone. $30,000, that could have cost me $30,000. And I asked them to check it, and they said that it was okay. So I don't know. They're really nice guys at the shop there, so I don't want to be mean to them. But they did screw up. Well, Diesel, all your little magical fibers of love are gone. All your weasel hairs. That's why we pay the extra pet fee. You, buddy. That's okay. It's worth it. So, yeah. Room is nice and cleaned. I thought they would give me new bedding. They didn't because this bedding's got a bit of a stain on it. That was there when I came in already. But I thought that they had to change this every time. But it does look like it was at least cleaned off. Nice and organized. Got new towels. The most important part. They restocked my coffee. Seattle's best and it is pretty good. It's pretty good. I've been enjoying it thoroughly all weekend already What have we got in here? What'd they do? What'd they do? What'd they do? Ooh, new towels, new soap, new towels. Very nice. Very nice. See, they cleaned this much better than I could have. And that's why we're paying 150 bucks a night, right? Usually if I stay in a hotel room, I, I'll just put the do not disturb sign on the door and just leave it there until I leave, right? I don't like people coming in here with my stuff in here. But I usually don't stay at motels that cost me 150 bucks a night. Now, it's not very expensive because there's motels out there that 
are way more expensive than this. But this was the cheapest in this area. Like I was saying before, that wasn't a complete dive. So I figure I'm going to get my money's worth out of this place. If I'm paying you 150 bucks a night, at least once within the four nights that I'm here, which is today, at least once I'll ask you to please clean the room for me and make it up. That's I think that's fair. I think I am not asking too much. I don't, I don't, I'm not a professional hotel stayer though, so I don't know. Am I supposed to leave a tip for them? I'm still curious. I don't have any cash. Maybe I'll have to go get cash before I leave and leave some on the table here. I think someone once told me I'm supposed to tip them. Please let me know down below in the comment section. Is it customary to leave a tip for the cleaning staff? Are they mad at me now that I didn't? I need to know. So this is, uh, this was my entire day. If you're wondering where, where the excitement is or when the exciting clips are coming, I'm sorry to disappoint you. This was not a very exciting day for me, but it was a day. We got one more day here tomorrow yet. Tomorrow they're supposed to be done with my truck probably sometime in the afternoon or evening. Then I can go pick it up and then we'll be sleeping in the truck again. Uh, the load I was supposed to pick up on Monday, we lost it because my truck is still in the shop. So they'll be looking for a different load for me. Hopefully I won't be sitting here too long waiting. I mean, that was a decent load, but uh, someone else had to take it because I couldn't. Anyways, I'm just going to end this vlog here today. And uh, we'll see you again tomorrow. I'll give you another update on what's going on. Right now, you know what I know. So let's hope and pray for good news tomorrow. I'll see you then. Any of these boxes that are popping up around my face here, at least there should be boxes, will take you to other videos of mine, and including yesterday's. And that one with a picture of me in the center there. <clears throat> if you click that, it'll take you to where you can subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a video. We make a new video every day. I'll talk to you guys soon.